Hello, we're, today we're going to look at the filter functionality within the RTV Exporter Pro for Revit 2015. So filters uh, within the RTV Exporter can be um, created in a couple of different ways. Um, you can simply type into the headers and create a filter on the fly. Or you can dynamically build it by choosing the edit filter and add the filter and you can choose parameters that you want out of the the file uh, begins with um, sm apply okay and that creates the filters um, that way as well clearing the filter you can just click edit filter uh, and just remove the filter as you like i find it's easier to create the filters um, directly within the column headers it's a little bit more intuitive and a little bit easier once filters have been created these can be saved to a file so that's useful for the batch processing and scheduled tasks so if I wanted to create a filter to look for IFC files or NWC files in my views uh, it could be just as easy as typing in NWC save the filter NWC, uh, maybe I'll do that views, views for NWC, for our Navisworks views, and maybe IFC. And I can save that out as views for IFC this time. Now if I want to load any filters that have been um, saved or recorded, um, I can simply go load the filter and choose say NWC for my Navisworks ones and that'll load the, the filter back into um, the RTV Drawing Manager and from here I can simply export that NWC to an NWC file. Uh, set up the constraints, uh, the file formats that I would like to use and um, export that to an NWC. I can also use the saved filters in the batch processing over here by loading the sheet or the view filter from a file and that will enable me to then set up batch processes to export uh, NWC files um, across multiple Revit files. That's about all there is for view filters or sheet filters within the exporter. Hopefully this short tu tutorial has been useful. Um, stop back for more tutorials.